Hey, this is Yvonne from Colorado and I wanted to create this uh, quick video tutorial to show you how to set up um, AWeber. If you already have AWeber, then you're probably familiar with these steps and you may not need this tutorial. But if you're brand new to AWeber, I'm just going to walk you through, number one, how to create a new list for your MCA capture page. How to upload the message series that I wrote for you. There is a 14 day um, autoresponder series that you can upload that I've already written. You're just going to want to go in and modify some things. And then I'm going to actually walk you through how to modify one. Uh, this is best done if you do it in Internet Explorer. Um, and there are a few reasons why, but we'll get into that later. Right now I'm just going to show you how to create a list first. Uh, and then upload the message series. And then second or lastly, modify it. So what you're going to want to do is create and manage a uh, list. You're going to click on that. You're going to click on create a new list. Um, and then on here you're going to see this list name. There's, it's a default name. You really don't want to use that. So let's go in and change it. I'm just going to pick uh, 14 days MCA because um, it's a 14 day series. Uh, you want to make sure that it says the list name is available. Then you're going to want to put uh, your from name and your address. Mine are already pre-filled because I do already have an account. Um, and then you're going to scroll down and you want to first hit save settings. Then you're going to go back to step number two and you just want to enter the email address that you want to get your notifications at. Um, so this is, uh, I'm just going to put in my information. This is where I want notifications that I actually have an opt-in. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in there and you're going to click on add. And now you have the information. This is where my emails are going to come when people opt into my site. Then you want to scroll up and click on confirmed opt-in. Um, I know some people say that you want double opt-ins, but I just don't like it. I actually would rather them already get my information without having to go and check their email and confirming information from me. So I always turn this off. Some people may be against it, but it's always uh, worked for me. So then you hit save settings. And then you're done creating the actual list. You should see that list name in your current list. You want to make sure that's the list that you're working with. And then you'll just go up here and click on messages and the word follow up. Because what we're creating now is your follow up series. So you're going to go back to the page that I created where you're actually learning how to add a Weber. And you're going to highlight and copy this campaign code. Okay. So let's grab the code, hit uh, control C or actually right click and copy and then go back to AWeber and then you're going to scroll down a little bit to where you see campaign sharing and you're going to enter this code and paste it into here into the box and click on load campaign. Once the campaign is loaded, you now see that you have a 14 day series and you're going to need to go into every single one of these and modify it because right now the links in these are not correct. So you're going to need to go in and modify all of them. Um, and this is very important. So you know that you have your, your new capture page that I created for you and you have one, it has your username. You need to come in here and change this link. If you, you leave it just like this with username, no one is ever going to find you. This link actually does not even exist. You need to go in and change it. So you're going to go and put your cursor at the end of this link. And you're going to hit the backspace button. Notice how that turned from blue to black. It means that I'm editing it right now. And you're going to back that all the way up until the, you get to this uh, dash. And you're going to just type in your username. But you also need to put back the .html. That is important. If you don't put the .html, it will not be noticeable. And then you're going to hit the down arrow button to make it blue again. Once you've done that, you know that you've changed the link. You're then going to scroll down and you see here where it says your name, your phone, and your email. You need to go in and change that to your information. So just type over it. You're going to type over it and then delete it out. Um, then put in your phone number. Let me type mine in here and then delete that out. Um, and then put in your email address. Go ahead and type that in. Again, it should turn blue and then you're going to delete that out and then that's it. You leave everything else the same. You're going to scroll down on this on the, all the way to the side, all the way down to the bottom. Yes, it's going to tell you that there's some embedded links. I don't know why it does that. I guess it doesn't really recognize .tks. So you can hit ignore. Um, but the first thing you want to do is you're going to click on preview. And this is going to pop up, right? And this is a box that you want to look at. Let me kind of modify it so that it gets into this video screen. But you're going to want to look at this because you're going to want to scroll down a little bit and hover over this. 
I'm trying to get it so that you can actually see it in the screen. Hold on for me. I don't know if it's going to work. But down here, okay, so you're going to hover over this. Down here at the bottom, you may not be able to see it. The link to where this is going to lead you shows up in the gray bar underneath here. I'm so, unfortunately, I can't show it to you in this video, but just know that when you hover over this, down in this corner is going to show the link to where it's headed. As long as you can see your username in there, you know that the link has been changed. You can then scroll up and close out that open window and then hit save message. You guys, you're going to want to do that for every single one of the uh, autoresponder series. Yes, you need to go into all 14 of these, change the link to put your username, put the .html back, change the phone number, the email address, and your uh, and your name, and then you're going to modify all of them. Make sure that you've looked at every link, and then you're done. Um, that is it for the end of this tutorial.